Hey everybody, it's Raven Ways. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is day three of 100 Days of Vegetarianism, and today I want to talk about cockroaches in your coffee. I'm going to give you a warning though, you can't unwatch this video, so if you don't want this information, just turn the video off right now. Uh, so where do I start? I don't even know where to start. I love coffee, but I have a slight allergy to it, and sometimes it's quite bad, okay? I won't get into the symptoms, but it's kind of, you know, it is bad. Um, but oddly, I don't have an allergy to other caffeinated beverages, not the same kind of symptoms. So today I asked Google why I'm allergic to coffee and not other caffeinated beverages. And what came out was that some people who have allergies to coffee especially if they're using pre-ground coffee, are actually allergic to the cockroach bodies that get ground up with the coffee beans um, at the factories. Okay, and um, basically the deal is, is that a lot of companies cannot get all, like cockroaches are attracted to coffee beans, okay, and a lot of coffee bean barrels with all the coffee beans in them have lots and lots of cockroaches crawling all over them. And so when they grind them up, they can't, they can't get all the cockroaches off of the beans. So the FDA, at least in the United States, accepts that, you know, there's going to be a certain amount of cockroach in your pre-ground coffee. <laughs> God. So, oh God, you know, sometimes the internet can be a good thing and a bad thing. So I, got, I had to, you know, I was actually drinking my pre-ground coffee <laughs> while I was researching this information, right? And I just put the, slowly put the coffee cup down. <laughs> just, I felt like being sick. I just couldn't believe it. So what could be happening to me essentially is I could be allergic to all the little cockroach bodies that get ground up in my pre-ground coffee. So I guess the solution to my problem is to try grinding my own beans, which I should really be doing in the first place. But I'm a lazy old slag and I don't, um, you know, sometimes I just like, you know, scooping out the pre-made, the pre-ground coffee into the French press and, you know, giving the French press a couple minutes to settle and then pouring it. It's just so much nicer. But <laughs> after researching on Google about um, cockroach infestations um, in coffee, I'm going to be using the beans. Another thing I found out, and this really freaked me out because I was going to go and buy um, a coffee machine. So I just Googled coffee machines and cockroaches and the stuff that came out of that Google search was really scary. I mean, what's happening is cockroaches love coffee machines. They love, and so they, they, um, there's lots and lots of coffee machines with that you buy that are infested with cockroaches. And so people bring these coffee machines into their house and the cockroaches, of course, move from the coffee machine to other dark places in their home and they end up with a huge infestation. And this has caused people a lot of grief, do you know, because it's very expensive to get rid of cockroaches in your home. So online, there's um, they, they get the suggestion like putting catnip tea through your coffee machine to kill any of the uh, cockroach nests, nests and that kind of thing. But anyways, I guess what happens is that with the pre-ground coffee is that when it's collected and put in barrels, the, the cockroaches in these warm, warm countries where the coffee is collected, the beans are collected, they just go crazy and they're all over the coffee beans. And the suppliers just can't get rid of the cockroaches. Like they can't get rid of all the cockroaches before the coffee beans go into their grinders. So the FDA, at least in the States, just has to accept that pre-ground coffee is going to have a lot of, or a certain amount of cockroach body in it. But the question is, is like, how can the FDA even control this? Or, you know, like, what if the company, what if it has more than usual? I mean, you know, people can get really sick. So if coffee is making you sick, it's something to think about. It could be an allergy to cockroaches. <laughs> and uh, by the way, you can't unwatch this video. So I hope I haven't totally destroyed your innocence about coffee and your enjoyment of coffee. I just, I might have, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
turn to a different beverage. Some people say um, lemon in warm water is really the best thing to drink in the morning. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, take it easy and um, please subscribe to my channel for more fascinating videos like this one. Bye!